Let's go Falcons! This weekend is absolutely crucial for the Falcons as we take on the Los Angeles Chargers. But it's not just about getting back into the win column after two tough losses, this game has major playoff implications. But before we dive into the news, be sure to hit that like button, I'm always here to keep you well informed. Right now, Atlanta is in the driver's seat when it comes to our postseason fate, but the margin for error is very small. With a current 78.1% chance of making the playoffs, the Falcons hold a slim lead in the NFC South. A win on Sunday would increase those odds by 10%, solidifying our position in the division. But here's the flip side, a loss decreases our odds by the same amount, opening the door for Tampa Bay to make a run. And let's not forget, the Buccaneers are right behind us, just one game back after dominating the Giants last week. The NFC South is shaping up to be a showdown, and every game matters. The Athletic nailed it when it said, The Falcons pretty much have to win the NFC South if they want to make the playoffs. This matchup with the Chargers is probably their second toughest game left, so a win would go a long way toward securing the division crown. But it's not just about us, keep an eye on the Buccaneers vs. Panthers game. If Tampa wins and we stumble, their playoff odds could surge by more than 31%, turning this division race into a nail-biter. On the flip side, if the Panthers pull off a miracle upset, the Bucks' chances could drop dramatically, keeping Atlanta firmly in control. Now, let's talk roster news because the Falcons have been making some moves ahead of Sunday's showdown. In a bid to bolster the pass rush, Atlanta has officially signed outside linebacker Damone Harris to the 53-man roster. Harris has already seen some action this season, logging 97 defensive snaps with three tackles and one pressure. It's clear the team is looking for every edge as we gear up for the final six games. To make room for Harris, the Falcons released former seventh-round pick Javon Gwynn, a player who spent most of his time on special teams. Additionally, the team signed kicker Riley Patterson to the practice squad as insurance for young Hoku, who was listed as questionable for Sunday. These moves show that the front office isn't taking any chances. With the playoffs on the line, every roster spot needs to count. Sunday's matchup against the Chargers is a must-win, not just for momentum, but for keeping our playoff hopes alive. The Chargers come in with a 7-4 record, and while their defense has been strong, they've shown vulnerabilities in recent weeks, giving up over 25 points in back-to-back -back games. For Atlanta, the formula is simple. If we score 25 points or more, we win. It's that simple. The offense needs to shake off the struggles of the last two games and come out firing. Meanwhile, the defense, bolstered by players like Harris, needs to step up and contain the Chargers' playmakers. Now tell me, how confident are you going into Sunday's game against the Chargers? Do you think the roster changes will give us the edge we need, or are there still holes to fill? How do you see the NFC South race playing out? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. The bye week came at just the right time for our Falcons, especially for quarterback Kirk Cousins. After back-to-back -back losses to the Saints and Broncos, Cousins took some much-needed downtime in his hometown of Saugatuck, Michigan. But even sitting around a bonfire, he couldn't shake the thought of what went wrong in those games. Cousins has always been his toughest critic. His mental preparation is second to none, and he's consistently leaned on team psychologists to stay sharp, both in good times and bad. Quarterback is such a mental position, Cousins said. I've surrounded myself with people who help me stay steady, whether we're riding high or dealing with challenges. It's about staying consistent. Statistically, Cousins has had a solid season, over 2,800 passing yards, 17 touchdowns, and two NFC Offensive Player of the Week honors. But the last two games? A far cry from his usual standard. For the first time in his career, Cousins failed to throw a touchdown in consecutive games. He took three sacks, threw a pick, and posted a passer rating under 80 in both contests. Now, Cousins is recharged and locked in as the Falcons prepare to face the Los Angeles Chargers' lead best scoring defense. Back at Flowery Branch, he's been all business, poring over notes with offensive coordinator Zach Robinson and fine-tuning every detail of the offensive script. Head coach Raheem Morris couldn't be more impressed with Cousins' leadership. Kirk is relentless, Morris said. He comes back from the bye with detailed notes, ready to attack every aspect of the game plan. 
He demands accountability from himself and everyone around him. The focus this week? Execution. The Falcons remain a top 10 offense in several key metrics, but recent mistakes, penalties, missed opportunities, and mental lapses have derailed their rhythm. Robinson echoed this sentiment. We've done some really good things this season, but it's about tightening up. The Saints game was close, we just didn't finish. Against Denver, things fell apart. Now, it's time to get back to what makes us successful. The Chargers' defense is no joke. They rank top five in points allowed, total yards, and red zone defense. But here's the silver lining. They've given up 25-plus points in their last two games against high-powered offenses like Baltimore and Cincinnati. For the Falcons, the formula is clear. If we can score 25 points or more, we win. Before Week 10, Atlanta hit that mark in five of seven games, often surpassing 30 points. The key now is rediscovering that form. Robinson emphasized execution. It's an execution game. We've got to do our stuff better than they do theirs. The Saints game showed we can move the ball, but we didn't finish. Denver was a low point. Now, it's about bouncing back. Let's address the elephant in the room. These losses haven't just hurt our record, they've hurt our reputation. After improving to 6-3 to three and leading the NFC South, the Falcons were riding high. But two tough losses have left us the target of criticism and even ridicule from division rivals. Remember Tyron Matthews' smile when he said, The Falcons have been really good to me? Or Baker Mayfield's confidence after our loss to Denver? It hurts, but this is our chance to flip the script. Despite the setbacks, the Falcons still control their playoff destiny. With a win over the Chargers, we can steady the ship and reassert ourselves as the NFC South leader. A loss? It opens the door for Tampa Bay and reignites the same old Falcons narrative. This game is about more than just a win. It's about momentum, confidence, and proving that we belong in the postseason conversation. Do you think Kirk Cousins can bounce back and lead us to victory this Sunday? How confident are you in your offense against the Chargers' strong defense? Are you worried about the NFC South race getting tighter, or do you think we're on the right track? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more exclusive Falcons content. Let's rise up, get that win on Sunday, and remind the league who we are. Go Falcons!